Hey, quick disclaimer before we start off the video. I want to make sure you guys understand that I don't hate the Nintendo Switch. In fact, the Nintendo Switch is my favorite console of this generation. And this video isn't things that I particularly hate about the Nintendo Switch. It's also things that Nintendo fans collectively hate about the Nintendo Switch. I just want you guys to understand that this is coming from a place of love. I love Nintendo and I'd rather critique them to the point where they can do better. So without further ado, enjoy the video. The Nintendo Switch has been out for over four years. Incredible how time passes, man. I've made this video about two times, once right when the console was fully announced, and then the other once the Switch Lite was coming out. But here I am now, right before E3 2021, making another 10 reasons I love and hate the Nintendo Switch. Before this video starts, check out my weekly Smash streams named Smash Sundays, where I face every viewer one-on-one. -on -one. So if you got Smash Brothers Ultimate, make sure to face me live right here on YouTube. It's always a blast seeing what people come up with, and it's always fun seeing what kind of interesting me characters you guys come up with as well. So, I'll see you guys there on Sunday. As per always, my name is Junior Leva, aka Mr. Awesome, and here's 10 reasons to hate the Nintendo Switch in 2021. Make sure to subscribe for more Nintendo Switch content. The subscriber goal for May is 12,000 subscribers, and I definitely believe we can make it. So please, subscribe and turn on those notifications for lots of Nintendo content in the future, especially with E3 coming up pretty soon. Number one, there's still no menu customization. It's kind of baffling that Nintendo just really made the Switch without any type of menu customization. I understand because they wanted to preserve on RAM and all that stuff and whatever. But our only options for Switch menu customization is just having a light mode and dark mode. Come on Nintendo, it's really that hard to just add a wallpaper. Like I really wanted to have this Odyssey themed when I was playing Odyssey. Even the 3DS had customization and it's the 3DS, you know, custom icons and everything. It was pretty dope. But the Switch, a more powerful system doesn't have customization it's baffling we're not in the Wii era or the Wii U era where things should just be basic and this is coming from a guy who owns an iPhone which just started getting customization within itself I'm just baffled because this isn't Nintendo's first console and definitely not their first time making a menu I don't know I'm not a switch developer or anything but still I would appreciate it a lot if I can at least change the color from black or white to like red or something. It's just baffling to me that the Switch really still doesn't have any form of customization. And the menu hasn't changed a lot anyway in the past 4 years. We might have this menu for the long run, unless it's the Switch Pro which has magically more power for menu customizations, but still, it is what it is. Number 2, there's still a lack of Nintendo 64, GameCube, and Wii titles. So it's pretty dope that we got NES and Super NES games on Nintendo Switch, that's fire and everything. But come on, we haven't got Nintendo 64 online or GameCube online or Nintendo Wii online. I understand Wii online, but still. It's kind of like, come on Nintendo, what are you guys doing over there? You guys have a whole backlog of games and it's time to use them, you know? I wouldn't mind paying an extra $10 a month to play N64 and GameCube, but that would be phenomenal to me. I really wouldn't care. I've considered, and it's crazy, because I personally considered building a whole $500 plus dollar PC build just to play GameCube and emulated games on my 70 inch TV at home. When that could just be mitigated when I could just play it on the Switch. But Nintendo isn't doing that, and I don't understand. We don't even have Game Boy or Game Boy Advance, consoles that are honestly a lot more easier to emulate than N64 or GameCube. And it's not like N64 and GameCube haven't been emulated on Switch because look at Super Mario 3D All-Stars. That's running an emulator that's running these games. So Nintendo, what, what's going on here? Tell us the truth. I hope you guys are working on something. I hope this video gets outdated in terms of these reasons because when I make next year's 10 reasons to hate the Nintendo Switch in 2022, I better not be putting this reason again. Number 3. Joy-Con Drift So the Nintendo Switch for the most part is an amazing console and let me not even get started with the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons themselves are, wow, so much features packed into these little things. But it sucks when the thing you probably use the most gets defective. 
So if you haven't heard about Joy-Con Drift, Joy-Con Drift is basically when tone touch your joystick and your character is just running by themselves or walking by themselves. Like you can't even go straight. I remember I was playing Animal Crossing back when quarantine started and my character would, instead of running straight, he would run a little bit slanted and it would be kind of garbage because dude, I would have to move my controller stick instead of forward. It would have to be like forward leftish for my character to run straight. And it sucks because dude, these Joy-Cons aren't cheap. And and yes, granted, Nintendo can fix these Joy-Cons for free, but it sucks because it's an inconvenience. What if I only had two pairs of Joy-Cons and I had to send both Joy-Cons out to Nintendo to fix? That process takes about under two weeks, and imagine not playing your Switch for two weeks after you play it every day. It's kind of garbage if you ask me. And same thing's happening with the PS5, there's analog stick drift, it's a different term. But still, same case, same scenario, it sucks because, come on man, it, these controllers aren't cheap at all, and the fact that this is going on, it's, it sucks so badly. Number 4. There aren't much Nintendo AAA titles. So if you watched my last video about me praising the Nintendo Switch with 10 reasons to love the Nintendo Switch, I said that Nintendo has AAA titles on the Switch and it's amazing they do. You know, Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild, Luigi's Mansion 3, these games are phenomenal. But dude, what gets to me is that Nintendo had to merge the handheld console and the home console divisions into one to make the Nintendo Switch. And it kind of sucks because back when it was two different consoles, like a Wii and a DS or the Wii U and 3DS, we had so much games to play but now that they've merged into one we rarely have games to play and it's I don't know you would think that with merging the two divisions that Nintendo would have way more games that hasn't been the case and yes you know there's the whole pandemic and the whole you know working from home situations but still even a little bit before that we rarely have games and honestly i look at my switch catalog and yes there's some notable games there are a lot of fun games that i enjoy but comparing my switch's catalog to both my wii and ds catalog combined it's a no-brainer nintendo really had more games back in those previous generations case in point the Wii generation, we had Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, we also had New Super Mario Bros. Wii, and then on the DS side, we had all the Mario & Luigi games, Mario & Luigi Partners in Time and Bowser's in the Story, and then we had Mario Party games for both consoles. We had so much, we're getting a lot less games than we would've if we had two different consoles like we did back in the day. And it sucks, man, like, we would've had two Mario Karts by now. Back then in the Wii U generation, we had Mario Kart 7 and then Mario Kart 8. What do we have on the Switch? Just a port of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Yeah, we had Mario Kart Home, but that doesn't really count. It's just a gimmick toy where you just run around and play in your living room. That only gets as fun as it does. I personally own it myself, and it's like, ah, uh, I already made the same track a billion times. It's not as fun as it would have been if it was like Mario Kart 9 or Mario Kart 10 at this point. It just sucks, and I hope E3, I pray E3 fixes that and adds a lot more AAA stuff, because, dude, we're missing out, you know? Honestly, I'm just butthurt because I really want a Mario & Luigi for the Switch, but that might never happen. Number 5. The current hardware isn't as powerful. So the Switch, it's a no-brainer. The Switch is not powerful at all. The Switch is comparable to like maybe between PS3, P early PS4 games within that generation and it sucks because now we have these next-gen consoles like the PS5 and Xbox Series X or S that blow the Switch out of the water. And it sucks because, dude, the Switch has been out for four years and we still haven't gotten a revision yet. Granted, E3 might roll around and Nintendo might be like, hey, there's a Switch Pro coming out. It's a little bit more powerful and it can be up to date to like PS4 Pro and stuff. That I'm okay with. But our current Switch hardware now in 2021 before E3 kind of sucks, you know? If you've played multi-platform games from, let's say, the PS4 to the Switch, you can tell a noticeable difference. They're playable, yes, but in the graphical looks department, even the effects department, it really isn't up to par as compared to the competitor's consoles. I honestly just want a really powerful Nintendo console. It sucks that the last one was the GameCube, and the GameCube flopped, and Nintendo stuck with this mentality of, hey, we're not gonna focus on power, we're just gonna focus on gimmicks, and while those gimmicks are fun, yes, I, I can't sit here and deny to you that. Sometimes I wish we had power over gimmicks, you know? Or why not both in tangent? It just, I don't know. I wish the next hardware really stepped it up in comparison to the current Switch model.
Hey, thanks for making it to the halfway part of this video. Let's hit 150 likes for this very video. Why? Because it helps out the algorithm. Because who knows, in 2022, it could be a completely different reason. There could be a whole Nintendo Switch Pro. So if you guys are enjoying the video so far, like it, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And thank you. Number six, ports are expensive. So hold on tight. I know a couple of you might get mad. The ports of the Nintendo Switch for the most part are kind of expensive. Case in point, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword nowadays you can find for like about 30 bucks on eBay. But the fact that it's coming to the Nintendo Switch for $60, it's kind of overpriced. And this doesn't just happen with Nintendo games. No, no, no. This is happening with third party games as well. Look at Doom. Doom for the Switch is $60. And Doom for the PS4, for the most part, can be found for like $20, $30 in GameStop or Best Buy, Newegg, whatever the case may be. And it's ridiculous because the Doom on PS4 or Xbox One is more powerful than it is on Switch and it's still cheaper. And I understand, look, not everyone has a PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, you know? I personally have a PS4, Xbox One, and a Switch, but think about it. If I really wanted to play th these multi-platform games, I would rather go for the more powerful one and obviously the more cheaper one. Because if I'm paying $60 for Doom on the Switch, it better have exclusive content because that's insane that it's mostly the same game just with less graphical power. It's just, dude, these ports are overpriced and expensive, man. I don't know, I can't see myself paying $60 for a game when I damn well know I can get it for $20, which is $40 cheaper on another console, and it would play a lot better. Nintendo, I know, has a seal of quality and stuff, but no, 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 no. My pockets aren't that deep to be dropping $40 extra dollars for the same exact game. Wow, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this video. Number seven. There's still no browser. This is a small nitpick. I think it's baffling that the Switch does not have a browser. I understand that, you know, the browser was a way to hack the Nintendo Wii U and stuff. But let's be real. Sometimes we need a browser on the Switch. You know, it's bad enough the menu's limited. And it's bad enough we don't have certain apps. I think a browser wouldn't really hurt to have on Nintendo Switch. And yes, yes, we all have smartphones and tablets and computers. But come on, what if I just wanted to browse the web on the TV, huh? What if I wanted to watch something other than YouTube on the TV? Something that doesn't have an app? What if I wanted to watch Netflix or something? Or things that would work on a browser? The browser really isn't something we really need, but trust me, it'd be a lot more helpful to have. Number eight, there's still only 32 gigs of memory. Oh my God, 32 gigs of memory in 2021 is absolutely nothing. Dude, the iPhones don't even come with 32 gigs of memory. The cheapest Android phones out in the market don't even come with 32 gigs of memory. Nintendo, what's going on in your mind, man? You know, these consoles have terabytes of memories and stuff. And I've said this before in my previous 10 reasons I hate the Nintendo Switch video. My first one, actually. You know, we don't need a terabyte or two terabytes or 500 gigs. But damn. Yo, at least give us 64 or 128 gigs worth of memory on the Switch. I have a lot of games on Nintendo Switch, and I've seen a lot of people have a lot of games on their Switches, and they run out of memory so quickly. And guess what? We gotta go buy an SD card, and that's not the problem. Buying an SD card is not the problem at all, you know, most of us can afford it, I hope. You know, we can all go buy 128 gig for like, what, 50 bucks? But still, it kinda sucks that Nintendo Switch, till this day, has 32 gigs. I had a problem with it back in 2017, and I'm having a big problem with it in 2021. Dude, 32 gigs is nothing. 32 gigs I can fill up with like six games, and dude, I, I'm not one to be downloading and deleting games. I hate that with a passion, because then I want to replay all the games I have at some point. I don't know, it's just insane, dude. 32 gigabytes is garbage. Number nine. There's still no reward system. This is a personal nitpick of mine. I did see it online though, when I did research, you know, reasons people hate the Nintendo Switch. I personally like the achievement system the Xbox has and the trophy system the PlayStation platform has, but goddamn Nintendo. It's kind of baffling to me that you don't have an achievement system at all. Games for the most part within themselves have achievement systems, and that's cool, you know, that mitigates the problem of having an achievement system for the system overall. Again, small nitpick, you know, at the end of the day, but I find it a lot more cohesive and a lot more rewarding if the Switch itself had an achievement system. Things like an achievement system, like, come on, man. Like I said, it's dope that games have it in game, like Paper Mario and Animal Crossing, but it's just not the same at all. Nope, not the same at all. But whatever, I can live on without that. I just, honestly, I found this online 
and I agreed. I was like, you know what? I'm surprised we don't have one. Number 10, battery life. Okay, so the battery life has been improved from the initial switch from the first model. And then, you know, it's been slightly improved with the light and then the second revision of the switch. But even with the second revision of the switch, dude, battery life is garbage. You know, I don't understand how the switch has abysmal battery life. I get the fact that if you play more powerful games, the more battery eats up. That's cool and fine and all. But this isn't a smartphone. The switch is big and the battery should be a lot more capable. And most of us, if not a lot of people, don't have the second version of the switch. And even if you do, 4.5 to 9 hours isn't a long time. But it sucks because some people just be gaming on their consoles for like three hours plus. And let's say people play intensive games like Breath of the Wild. Dude, your Switch is going to die a lot more quicker than it would. Like playing a game like Snipper Clips. I don't know, battery life is abysmal on the Switch. My Discord even said this themselves and I had to agree with them. I mostly play on the TV for that reason. I love the handheld aspect, but once my Switch is dying, I'm just like, oh boy. Small minor inconvenience, first world problems, but still. Hopefully Nintendo can step up their batteries for the next Switch model. And that's it. Thank you guys for listening to me ramble about reasons people and even myself hate the Nintendo Switch. It's not really reasons we hate the whole console in general. It's just little little aspects, little nitpicks and stuff. It's I'm honestly worried about this video because the other few videos I've made bashing Nintendo Switch, a lot of people take this very seriously. If you made it this far, I just want you to understand that this is coming from a place deep within me that I love Nintendo and I'd rather them just do better overall and hopefully they do. As for always, thank you guys for watching this video. Shout outs to the members for supporting the channel. You yourself can become a member for as low as $2 a month. You get cool benefits like an extra Smash Sunday fight. You get to talk to me on Discord depending on your member rank and we can also play games and stuff together offline and online on streams and it's fun. I have a lot of fun with members. <laughs> And some of you guys are really cool. I get, I've gotten to know some of you guys personally, and you guys are really dope. So if you guys want to become a member, just hit the join button or go down to the description and just join from there. And shout out to those people wearing the Mr. Awesome merch. You guys are, come on, you guys are cute. Stop it. <laughs> if you want to buy your own Mr. Awesome merch, check out the link down below and, you know, buy the merch, take a picture, send it to me, and I'll post it at the end of every video. As always, thanks for watching. Please, please stay safe out there and stay golden. Bye, guys. Thank you.